with the week between games, I'm sure that's led to more time to kind of focus on yourself a little bit here this week. What have you been working on with the guys? Yeah, well, so our guys uh, with the final exam week, uh, you know, definitely focused on uh, making sure they do a great job there. And so we've we had some extra time off. And when we've been on the practice floor, just really working on different combinations and lineups uh, that we can play and offensively, how we can get better ball movement and continue to get the ball into the paint, into the post and uh, things along those lines. So really cleaning up our defensive habits, things when we've been behind plays or slow to close outs, and then offensively really focusing on different combinations and, and movement. Since Randy's not here, I'm going to ask a Randy-esque question. <laughs> Great. Um, tell me if I get it right or not. Um, I think I know the answer to this, but uh, do you have a plan for minutes for Trey King or anything going in? Yeah, we just we want to get Trey into the game. I mean, and I don't know when exactly that will come or how we'll go about doing that, but we want to get him some minutes and we want to we want him. I mean, it's been, you know, shoot 20 some months since he's played. So getting him in and, and getting him comfortable and, and, you know, being part of it will be important. And how how many minutes that will be will be dictated by how he plays, just like all our guys. So uh, I do have an intention that we want to get him in the game and we want to get him, um, you know, in rhythm and caught up with our team. Uh, that That's certainly there. But again, he'll have to, you know, play play well into his strengths in those minutes and it could lead to more. What's his excitement level like given that long layoff? And I know last year when you were talking about what a leader he had become just in practice and on the bench during games. He's a very bright young man with an engaging personality. So he's he's fun to be around every day. He's very coachable, great character. Um, so those guys to me, you know, the leadership is through your actions more than your words and and, and, and TK is a guy that every single day, you know, we can count on to do the right thing and um, and so that'll that'll pay off for him when it comes time to play. We talked to the players about this you know, a little bit, but I think we especially saw it on Sunday. How does kind of bringing that pressure and you know kind of intensity on the defensive end really set the team up not only for success as a whole, but maybe some better offensive opportunities as well? Well, when you're the uh, more aggressive team, you know defense seems to lead to the aggressive offense. So when we're uh, generating turnovers, whether it's live ball or charges or they're throwing them out of bounds, it gives us an aggressive mentality to come down and attack. And then we're attacking the paint and we're playing for each other. I think that connectedness defensively also leads to being connected offensively. And um, so and confidence too grows as you do the right thing over and over. I think some people think confidence is, um, you know, this, I don't know, for, for some it's, it's more about just do do little things over and over and over again and, and build your confidence through those through those things those positive actions and our guys uh, have done that and I think when you do it on defense it leads to you playing better offensively what kind of things are you going to see from, from Western Michigan yeah they're a very good rebounding team a physical team um, you know a team that um, they'll run a lot of actions offensively a lot of sets that we'll have to be prepared to guard uh, they're a team that tries to get the ball into the paint they've got a, a dynamic guard in uh, Norman who's a prolific scorer um, so they pose a lot of challenges for us and they, they play in the MAC conference which is a really good league um, you know their their head coach even though he's new he's worked under coach Izzo at Michigan State for a long time so uh, you can expect a very physical aggressive tough well coached group coming in here um, we're going to have to be up for the challenge. How does this week kind of provide a physical and mental recovery period? Well, we've had a fair amount of guys that have been sick, uh, certainly with Caleb being out. So it's great for them to be able to get some extra rest, um, be able to uh, hydrate and, and focus on their eating and sleeping and just getting their body in rhythm and be healthy and do what they need to do to do that. So that's a big part of it. And then trying to balance final exams with, you know, with what we have going on for practice. So um, trying to manage all of it is, is, uh, is important for each of our guys. How is Caleb? Caleb? Yeah, how he doing? <laughs> yeah he, he, was, he was back in the building today. Um, you know, certainly, you, you know, you can tell he hadn't been able to eat a lot or, you know, he's just kind of getting back into the swing of things uh, physically. But Caleb's an amazing young man, tireless worker. He'll do whatever he needs to do to, to get healthy for himself and be ready for our team. So we just want to support him in getting better and getting the rest he needs to, to get back and get after it. I know we've talked about since the beginning of the season what an energy guy Hassan is in, in often limited minutes doing things. But soon mentioned the block he had, whatever, 40 seconds left, you're up 35, whatever it was at the time. What, what does that tell you about him in terms of wanting to maximize every moment he's on the floor? 
Yeah, we talk a lot about even in practice the things that you do every day they carry over into the game and that you can't pick and choose when you're going to play hard and also the pride that we want to play with uh, for Iowa State for the Cyclones is is really high so it doesn't matter what the score is especially when we're in Hilton you know we want to play to our highest level and for Hassan to make a play like that at that point in the game it says a lot about both those things it says a lot about his character his desire to continue to m earn more opportunities his pride in the program and just you know his focus on those habits every single day. What's the adjustment been like for Shun who's had some big games but also has had some games where he's you know had a hard time to get going? Yeah, Shun's, Shun's a great teammate. Um, you know, I think at times, you know, we we feel he could even uh, be more dominant offensively. We believe in his game. We believe in his shot. We believe in his ability to finish the basketball. Um, for him, there's this is still being thrust into a little bit of a new role. Um, in the past, he's been more of a guy that's just been a, a rim runner, dunk spot, um, you know, energy type offensive player. Where we're kind of utilizing his skill, so it's still a work in pro uh, progress that way. Um, we're going to continue to lean into his abilities because we believe in him and we know he's got terrific upside and he'll keep getting better this year. But there has been an adjustment period and we've seen when it looks really good and he's scoring it great and we've seen sometimes it could be better and, and we'll continue to try to lean into those times where he can be great for us.